how I added a throttle to the bike. Um, I use this bike all the time. It's an amazing bike. I use it to do all my videos and to do all the jobs I get, the freelance jobs around the Bay Area. Um, you know, it fits in a bus, it fits on the, on the trains, things like that. It's uh, perfect for me, essentially. Um, however, I did want to add a throttle um, to the bike just to make it easier to go around, I guess. Um, that you're gonna need, first of all, the, the bike, obviously. <laughs> um, you're gonna need a screwdriver, which is really hard to find, actually, are the cables. So, um, Priority doesn't use any kind of Bafang motors or things like that. In fact, it's a uh, branded Priority. Uh, with a little bit of digging, however, I did find out that it's actually a truck run motor. Uh, truck Run is a company in China which creates these motors and they have some special cables um, which as you can see is this right here. So this cable here is uh, an 8 pin cable uh, with two outlets. Uh, one of them is a 5 pin green cable and the other one is the standard three pin throttle cable. I don't know if you can see that well, but um, yeah. these cables aren't easy to come by. Uh, they don't sell this to the US or Canada, I guess. Um, and you kind of have to, uh, there's two ways of, of doing this. Either you can message uh, truck run support directly, uh, which the email is gonna be in the description down below. Um, very nice lady, uh, she was, uh, she replied very quickly, she told me exactly what I needed. For truck run, you can only get this in bulk. Since they don't have an official distributor in the US yet, you can buy them from China, get it shipped to you in bulk, and I think the minimum is five cables. Um, uh, the truck run support uh, personnel was very nice, and they actually uh, gave me the contact information of someone in the U.S. that had ordered these in bulk for themselves and to see if they were willing to sell me one, which thankfully they, uh, that person was willing to sell me one of these cables uh, and ship it to me. Um, which is the cable does come with a standard throttle, just a standard thumb, thumb throttle, a uh, three pin, you know, standard stuff. Okay, so before I forget, when you order the cable, there's two different kinds of these kinds of integrated cables. Uh, there's the older version and the newer version. This is the newer version here, a uh, little white strip here as you can see. And to identify which version you need when you contact Truck Run or whoever might uh, be able to send you one of these cables, is you need to find um, the the display cable. So the cable runs out from here right next to the light goes down this channel here, right? There's only two cables that go in this channel. The one for the light which is a much smaller cable and there's this one here which I just pulled out of the black cord here and as you can see I twist it over there's these two arrow marks. When you split them apart, you can see the display cable, or essentially the control cables, uh, is this green 5-pin. This matches up directly with this 5-pin right here, and obviously this one goes to the throttle when you install it. So when you're working on the bike, uh, I would strongly suggest you take out your battery, uh, just for safety reasons. Yo, it just pops out really nicely. Yeah, just so you don't shock yourself. Alright, so for this part, I would recommend putting your pedal in this direction here and go ahead and just start unscrewing the cover off the motor.
All right, so here's things get interesting. You'll see a bunch of cables. Now, most of these, they're just for the tail light, the front light, things like that. Just a bunch of different cables. You get a flashlight in there. There's that orange bit, one right there. That's going to be uncovered for you most likely. So when you go from that orange one, you're going to want to go three cables to the left, which is this big one right here. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of dark in there. I only have one hand, people, so bear with me. Uh, this is the one that is the 8-pin. You're going to want to unplug that and then plug in your new cable down here. As you can see, it wires up here through the frame all the way to the display, the green cable right there. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. As you can see, I've installed the new cable into that port, the third to the left of the yellow thing. I will add a picture of the ports without the cables, and there's going to be an image of which exact port. You can't, you can't miss it. It's an 8-pin port. It'll only fit. For example, this is the old, old port. That's what it looks like. No other port in there looks like that. Um, okay, so I've just routed it outside of the bike for now. I haven't gone through with it yet, uh, through the frame with it yet, and uh, I've just connected it to the monitor. So the green 5 pin goes here, the new green 5 pin. You see, this is the old new one coming from the cable, and the throttle is connected as well. I can place the battery back into the frame. You have the cables connected, you got the throttle at the ready. Uh, go ahead and turn on your bike, see what happens. Now, if the bike turns on and the display looks just like it is, that's a good sign. That means the wiring is good, you're good to go. So, uh, what I've heard is this will go at the power that you set the bike setting at. So if it's on power one, it will only go as, fat, as strong as power one. Um, so I'm going to set it to power one, just to test it out first. Uh, you're going to want to bring up the back wheel, obviously. Careful of the gears, because they will turn. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. And then as soon as you release, the wheel freely, uh, the wheel moves freely. It's pretty strong. If you put it on five, let's see how this goes. Yeah, that, that is strong. But everything works as expected. Time to... Uh, Put it in the frame and put it on the handlebar and you're ready to go. Alright, so a few things to mention is uh, it was actually really hard to try and put it back through the frame. So uh, if you're okay with not doing that, there's another method. So here at the motor, on the back, there's a tiny little hole right there that goes through here. This is also the brake tail light. I just fitted the cable through there. And I'm planning on zip tying it across the frame and having it end at the same area that it used to. I'm Raphael, um, this is Valar Jones, thank you for watching, 
I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just post them down in the comments below. Uh, if you like drone footage, I have plenty of that, and I'll keep adding more. Uh, just watch all the other videos that I have on this channel. Um, if you want any uh, freelance job or any of that sort that involves a drone, uh, send me a, send me an email. You know, let's let's chat. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe.